with the want for people to look and feel relevant and recognize on social media, people have started doing more and more things to appear rich. So what is your take on the fake social media life and how it is affecting the Nigerian media? Um, I'd say, first of all, I believe that everybody should have a mind of their own. And being in the industry, I realized that everything is not as it seems. So you shouldn't use another person's life on the gram or what is portrayed on Instagram to judge any life that will feel threatened or feel like you're not doing the most. I would say it's affecting a lot of youth in a negative way because I feel like people are trying to outdo each other and the process of that are hurting themselves, putting themselves on the line for unnecessary things. So, um, like I said, it's affecting people negatively and I'd say everything is not as it seems, which means be yourself, full stop. So, the third question, um, do you believe that wealth is a major influence on people's happiness? And which is more important, affluence or contentment? Um, I don't think wealth is a major, money is good. It's great for living a lifestyle, achieving your dreams, but true happiness is from within. I believe true happiness actually comes from God. It's the little things, and I would definitely say contentment because um, I believe that if you are happy with the little that God has given you, where you are, is even a motivation for you to have more because when you get more, you know that you'll be very content. You're not just, you're not ungrateful about what you have because happiness is relative. What makes me happy is different from what might make another person happy. Someone like me, some things like food make me happy. And another person, it might be traveling, shopping. So like I said, happiness is relative, but contentment is extremely important. All right, so it's time for you to plug in. So can you please talk to us about the Bling Negotiations, um, the, your character, the movie in general, and what, what it was like working on the project? Okay, so Bling Legoshans, I can't wait for that to come out. I was so happy to be one of the cast members. Um, I played the character of Tokumbo Holloway. She's an eccentric, she's supposed to be a bit of a tomboy. She's quirky, She's because she comes from a rich home, her mother expects her to look a certain way, but she has her own mindset on what she wants and how she thinks she should look and what she thinks she should do. So she's a very, very stubborn character. Um, for a Nigerian child, she actually talks out of line and you can tell she's spoiled. Um, the movie itself is such a fantastic story. Um, I feel like Bling Lagosians is what is happening in Lagos as we speak. In my opinion, it's seeing a big house from outside, you're looking in, oh my God, look how big this house is, but you don't know what is going on behind closed doors. Um, I met so many fantastic people on that set. Um, the, Elvina Ibru, who played my mother, Benga Titile, who played my dad, Osas, who played my sister, um, Alex Okubo. Um, these were all fantastic people who, who helped me. You know, I feel like when you make a good movie, it's a collective effort. So everybody's energy was right for the movie to be what it is by the time people see it. My director, Bolani Osipita, she was amazing. I call her my mama. Um, she was so good to us and she was extremely professional. She taught me how not to use my phone on set. <laughs> she made me realize that when you're on set and you're trying to film and other people are trying to get their lines and you're using your phone, it's actually quite disrespectful. I never saw it as that before, but she opened my eyes to that and she directed us so well, she allowed us, she would discuss scenes with us before we go in, before we now go and deliver. And if we didn't like it, she gave us room to shoot again. So there was room for taking as many takes as you wanted as an actor. You're allowed to go to her and say, oh mama, I didn't like this, this shot that we just took. I want to redo it again. And she would allow you. Um, yeah, so generally, the ex my experience with Bling Negotiations was a fantastic one. It's a movie that I feel everybody should watch. We would learn not just one or two or three things, you would learn a lot about life. And it would also teach you not to envy anyone. Hi, my name is Sharon Oja, and Bling Negotiations will be out in all cinemas across Nigeria from the 28th of June. Please take your friends, family, and loved ones to watch it. Thank you.